Hello, my name is Rebecca. I am a wushu athlete. I spent the last 30 days trying to touch my head to my toe on both sides with a straight leg. Did I get there? Did my coach notice that I went from stretching twice a week to 10 times a week? And what is my advice for people who also want to take on this endeavor? Answers and more in this video. Wait, quick recap. When I first started this, I was about three fingers away on my left side and a little bit over a fist away on my right side. Check out the link in the description for the full video. So to be fair, I actually started out pretty, pretty close on my left side and I realized a couple days in that all I had to do this whole time was just try harder. This was the most uh, anticlimactic 30 day challenge of all time. But of course, I still had a long way to go on my right side and I still wanted a much more solid hold on my left side, so we kept stretching. Hello, okay, it is Sunday night. It's like 11 p.m. almost. I didn't stretch today. <laughs> Sunday night, 11 p.m., time to stretch. Good morning, today is, it's like 8.30 on February 15th. I'm about two weeks into my 30 day head to toe challenge, hoping to get most of my stretches in before people are online for work today, so let's go. On the left side, I'm pretty solid. I can go ahead and head to toe. I can like, actually like, get to the center of my eyebrows. I was trying to reach for my nose a little bit, didn't quite get it, um, but feeling pretty solid and can hold for a couple of seconds. My right side, maybe three fingers. Sometimes I can get down to two. It's definitely, it also just feels so much less good to stretch that side. Um, that side is just a little bit twisty, wonky compared to the left side. Even when I do exercises like squats um, or mabu, like my right hip kind of twists a little bit. So I had anticipated that side being a little bit harder and it is harder <laughs> to control. Still hopeful that I can get it by the end of the month, though progress is not as fast as I would like. Um, fingers crossed, we'll just keep stretching. It is post practice. I just touched my disgusting foot to my head on my right side for the first time, but it's wearing a shoe, so I don't know if it counts, but I'm gonna see if I can do it again. Hello, it is Thursday, February something, and as you can tell by the state of disarray of my room, <laughs> I am in a rush. I just got out of wushu practice, and I am doing a really quick stretch as to not break my streak of my perfect streak of stretch. I'm heading off to dinner with my boyfriend and some of his friends, um, and I'm really excited about it, but I made a mistake and scheduled over times. Okay, so left side is feeling pretty good. If I just like go like this and breathe out, Right side is not feeling it. Oh man. Easy fist. Easy four. Easy three. Oh, difficult two. And then a lot of pressure can get to one. But I've still got, what's that, seven days? Oh, I've got a week more. Uh, I mean, I already touched once with my shoe, but I feel like it really doesn't count with the shoe because the shoe adds like at least a finger. So, relax. Hello, today is March 2nd. Today is day 30 of the 30 day head to toe challenge. I'm going to walk through my stretching routine with you guys and show you my final progress. All right, so here is the full stretching routine. I start by warming up my glutes a minute on each side. I varied the exact stretches, but most of the time I just did a cross-legged sit, just like this, holding for a minute, starting from a relatively comfortable position and then pulling tighter and tighter with each exhale. Next, I opened up my hip flexors. For this, I did a minute on each side as well, repeatedly contracting and relaxing my glutes to open up the front of my hip. And of course, making sure to breathe throughout. 
Next, I stretched my calves on each side. I didn't have a great setup here. It's definitely more optimal to have an actual step or a stair or something, but I didn't, so this was fine. Something to notice about all of these stretches is that I'm really just opening up that part of the body. I'm not going for really increased flexibility. I just want to make sure there's no tightness blocking me in any of these ranges of motion. After that, I worked on my splits. For this, I usually do one to two sets of two minutes each side. If it's feeling tight, then I'll do a bit longer or a bit more sets. In this stretch, I'm not actually trying to go down as far as I can, but instead, one, press open my hamstrings, and two, be as square as possible. Square meaning my hips should be exactly facing forward. Well, at least that's what I'm supposed to be doing. You can tell on my right side especially that my hips are opening up to the left, so these are not perfect. Hello, okay, I am back at my barbell friend. I'm actually wearing the same outfit as I was for my last video, but I am 30 days into the future from that last video, as you should be able to tell by my increased flexibility. Left side first and then right side. Let's see how fast I can get there, so here we go. <laughs> Anticlimactic that took like 10 seconds. So I'm gonna keep with my normal stretching routine and finish out my two minutes of stretching on the side. That's what your friends say, let us be from naysay I might take a moment to put on the foot of a kid Stuck in all that air, you tell me some of the air Alright, I wouldn't call it comfortable, but I can definitely get there and hold for a couple seconds, which was my goal So, checkbox marks complete for that goal Let's try the other side this one, this one I've only actually dinked a couple times. All of those times were after several hours of wushu training, um, so my body was a lot more ling hua. Um, ro, ro, ran, ro, ro, ran. Gotta keep breathing, gotta keep stretching. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> I count it. <laughs> that was not excellent, but I count it. Let's see if I can get another dink in. <laughs> Shoe came off. But yeah. Oh. <laughs> the head to toe on the right side. Mission accomplished. So, did I meet my goals? Head to toe. On the left side, crushed it. Touch and hold on the left side, crushed it. Head to toe on the right side. My goal, because on the right side, my body is just overall less flexible, my goal was just to get a couple of dinks in, which I was successful in achieving. However, as of yet, I've still only been able to do it with my shoe on, which adds about a centimeter, maybe half of that. So I still have room for improvement, but I'm gonna count that as a win. Another part of my goal was to have perfect consistency throughout the stretching process in that I wanted to stretch after my wushu practice, after my strength training, and a couple additional times throughout the week. I was really close. Um, I missed one day of consistency, so maybe that's like 90, 98%. That day happened to be after I had touched head to toe on both sides though, so, so I felt comfortable letting up on the gas a little bit. Another piece of my goal was to have perfect intention every time, which is to say, as I'm going to stretch, I am thinking, I am breathing, I am trying to stretch to the best of my abilities and reach a slightly farther range of motion than the time before. This one, I, I definitely did not have perfect consistency of. At the start of my challenge, I had planned to fill out this notebook where I would write, did I do my stretching? Was my intention there? How far was I? And any thoughts and feelings that I had. About a week or two in, I just kind of forgot about it. Most of the notebook is empty, and I would give myself a pretty generous estimate of saying I had like 60 to 70% good intention. The rest of the time, I was maybe a little bit distracted, maybe a little bit in a rush, maybe trying to have a conversation on my phone while I was stretching. All of these things I am guilty of, but was still able to reach my goal despite not being perfect at it every single time. Another one of my goals was that in my heart, I hoped that my wushu coach would notice 很明显的进步, which is to say, very obvious improvement in my flexibility. I was very pleased, I was surprised and pleased that within the first week or so, he actually made comments that my kicks were more song, they were more loose. 
However, a couple weeks later, he was asking again, like, Rebecca, have you been stretching? How is your stretching going? Um, despite me still stretching every single day as much as I could. Uh, my hypothesis is that in the beginning, when I transitioned from stretching very little to stretching very, very consistently, that's when I had the most obvious gains. And then after that, I kind of made slow gains on top of that, but they were much smaller and much less noticeable. So what happened to my wushu throughout this process? I am pretty pleased with the improvement in my kicks. Note that these videos were kind of cherry picked. The one on the left is from a little bit before I started the challenge and maybe not my best practice day. And I wouldn't say that all of my practices look like the one on the right. Overall, these videos show quite a range in ability over time. I do really want to note though that a big part of my training outside of the Wuzhu Guan has been working with a strength coach to improve my hip control. We've just been doing a lot of static kicks, a lot of hip isolation exercises to make sure that I'm activating the right muscles in my kicks and keeping the rest of my body relaxed. So I definitely really have that to thank for the improvements in my kicks. But of course, flexibility was a big part of that as well in that if I can't even get my leg that high, then what's the point? As you're watching these, some things to note are 1. The kick is higher, 2. The kick is faster, 3. The rest of my body is more relaxed. Uh, if we put in Jade's shoe here for comparison, you'll know that I still have a lot of room for improvement. Uh, even higher, even faster, even more relaxed, and it really stands out that my right arm is wiggling around a ton. So not perfect, but there's definite progress here, and I feel like that's really the best that you can hope for in Wushu anyway. So. You want to head to toe. What advice do I have for you? Number one, have short legs. Number two, already have your splits on both sides. Number three, spend a couple years working on hamstring and glute strength first. I am mostly kidding. I mean, okay, especially kidding about number one and that you can't change the length of your legs. But I do want to acknowledge that a big reason that I was able to get this goal in a relatively short period of time is one, my body type. I have a relatively long torso compared to my legs. And two, I have spent a significant amount of time doing other flexibility and strength training work such that it wasn't as difficult for my body to sustain a more extreme position like the head to toe. Emmett Lewis actually has a really good video where he lists some very sensible prerequisites for the head to toe. I will include a link to that in the description. This video was actually recommended to me by one of you guys, so thank you, Jim. It was very helpful in getting a good mindset when I was first starting out at this challenge of like how quickly should I expect progress and just general guidance for the journey overall, so I highly recommend. So uh, what is my actual advice for trying to get head to toe? Uh, one, do either the routine that I did or a similar one such as the one from Emmett Lewis or another one from another reputable source. Do that routine every single day, maybe multiple times a day and just keep going. Record your progress and if you get stuck, try to find the part of your body where you're getting stuck at. Maybe it's calf mobility, maybe it's hip. For me, it's especially my right hip that's very, very tight. So I spend an extra couple minutes always working on the range of motion in my right hip. A big piece of advice that people often give about stretching is that you have to be consistent. And this is very true and this is very hard and this is where I think a lot of people get really stuck. Okay, quick pause, editing Rebecca here. In making this video, I realized that I had a lot to say about consistency, why it's difficult, and some things that you can do about it. I thought that it was enough to merit its own vlog, so I cut it out and will upload that in a couple of days. Please do subscribe if you're interested. So yeah, my main advice, other than having short legs to get your head to toe is do a routine, do it consistently, and be willing to move around things in your life to carve out time to get in that stretching consistency. I could probably soapbox on about this for a bit longer, but I actually think that there are much better resources out there, both for maintaining habits like the book Atomic Habits and for stretching, such as people like Emmett Lewis and Tom Merrick, whom I both watch a lot of in trying to get my flexibility goals. A Links to all of that in the description. So, so what is next, you ask? I asked my coach. At the end of the month, I told him, hey, I have been working on my head to toe. Let me show you. He was happy, um, and I asked him what to work on next, and he just said, Keep going, try to get the nose to toe, try to keep going even, even farther. So I will definitely continue to work on that. He also very consistently points out that my sideways range of motion, my side kicks and my side thrust kicks are too tight, too low, not very good. So I think I will add a lot more sideways stretching to my flexibility routine. In addition to that, I recently started back up at my desk job. So I am spending a lot more time sitting at my computer than I would like to 
The effect being that both my shoulders and my hips have gotten a lot tighter and are more in <laughs> a sitting at a desk position. So I think another goal for myself might be to really, really stick to a routine where I get up and move at least every 20 minutes. This is something that my strength coach has been very strongly encouraging of me for a long, long time now, multiple years, but I have never really adopted a good habit for being at my desk for a long period of time. Maybe now is that time. I will probably set up something for myself where I try to get up and move every 20 minutes or 30 minutes or so or have like a specific or have a specific stretch that I do at those increments. Any structure for myself to get myself off my butt. <laughs> okay, that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a comment below letting me know what are your wushu and or flexibility goals for this month. I also am very curious to hear what, what other people think about sticking to habits and consistency. I think that's a very difficult part for a lot of people, so I'm curious what strategies have worked for you, what strategies haven't worked for you when you set a goal for yourself. I want to know. Thank you so much again for watching, and I will see you guys next time.